What's going on friends, Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing a flick I just received by our friends over at Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. They sent me a copy of The Meg, The Megalodon. So quick shout out to our friends over at Warner Brothers. Thanks for sending us a copy. We had a really great time with this flick. Movie we've been really looking forward to seeing. And uh, let's talk about it, shall we? So the film is directed by John Turtletop and stars Jason Statham. Rain Wilson, Ruby Rose, Robert Taylor, Longmire from Netflix. It's cool seeing him and a bunch of other people. Uh, and that's pretty much the cast of this movie. Um, they're basically underground in this underwater research facility. It's all like top of the line technology. It's very futuristic. Um, when they're down underwater, it looks like they're in fucking Atlantis, <laughs> like Aquaman. Um, really cool setup for this research facility. And they uncover this prehistoric shark the Megalodon, or the Meg as they call it, um, that's been around for years, it's massive, and that's the setup, you know, they're finding out about the shark, and they p basically want to put a stop to it before it reaches land and starts killing people, and we wouldn't have a shark movie without people getting killed, so that's basically what happens in this flick, and it's, that's the setup of the film. And early on, there's a lot of really great shots, um, I didn't really know how to take this movie, I kind of went in with low expectations, didn't really know what to expect with a PG-13 shark movie. Early on in the film, I was feeling it out. You know, there's some comedy, you know, but it's also like a thriller at the same time. So you could tell that they went at this a, a more comedic approach and especially PG-13 rating. You know, it's not gonna be over the top gory, but I did have a really great time with this. I mean, there's some forced acting in this movie and some forced comedy. But I think that's the way they went about this movie. It was kind of silly, a little cheesy. You could tell they had a great time, um, you know, in this movie acting and throwing in the comedy and feeding off one another. It looked like it really worked. You know, Jason Statham playing Jonas Taylor. I'm a huge fan of Jason Statham. He's a great action star. Ton of big name movies. The guy's loaded, but uh, you know, he's good at his craft. He's a good actor. Loved him in all the Guy Ritchie flicks, you know, uh, Snatch especially, but he's a great action star as well. Dude's ripped too for being older. Always in really great shape for these flicks. He's very to the point, I would say, in this role. He's, his main focus, you know, being the shark, taking it down, and he's the only person that knows how to go about this, how to take on a massive shark like this. It really sets up the sense of this character going after the shark and being the leader of all these people, you know, under in this research facility. It was cool to see Rain Wilson. I love Rain Wilson, you know, Dwight from The Office. Been a lot of great movies. He's from Seattle. He's a huge Seahawks fan like myself, so I love the dude. And it was great seeing him as this billionaire boss, owner of this company, telling them what to do. He had, had all the money, um, and he had a lot of comedy in this film. I really, really did enjoy his character. With that being said, uh, you know, a lot of great parts of the movie is the camel work. As you can see from the trailer, there's this little girl down in this research facility. You know, she's playing, and then that's the first time you see the Meg come up to you know, the window and put its jaws and see how massive the mouth is. Really great camel work in the way they got the effects of the sharks and underwater. There are a few scenes that the CGI looks a little spotty, but overall just them capturing this massive shark. I think they did a pretty, pretty good job in the visual effects side of this film. But you know, with the craze, it all started with Jaws back in the 70s, the original, the OG of the shark genre, you know, really making the audience scared to go in the water. And to this day, sharks are one of the few things that really terrify me. And, you know, Steven Spielberg with Jaws and, and creating this monster, this creature that lurks in the water. You know, over the years we've had, you know, like Sharknadoes and just stupid, silly movies. And uh, recently The Shallows, which was another great thriller, a great shark movie um, with Blake Lively. That was really fantastic. You know, it kind of brought us back to that sense of the first Jaws flick. We have 47 Meters Down, which was another comparable shark flick to The Shallows. But this time around, like well, like I was saying, PG-13, you know, it's not going to be as scary, not as gory as the other flicks, you know, because they went at it more comedic approach. So I had a really great time with the Meg uh, movie. I've been really wanting to see this year, and it's definitely going to make probably my top 10 list. It's been, hasn't been a great year for films in 2018, and this is one I really did enjoy. It, and I went in with really low expectation, and I was pleasantly surprised, and I had a great time with it. I had absolute blast with the cast and, and seeing Jason Statham and this character taking on the Meg at the very end of the film is very cool and it's interesting how they're going to take this into the next film because I think there's more chapters in the books. Um, so we'll see if the Meg returns to the big screen in theaters in the coming years in the next few years. Overall I'm going to give the Meg a three and a half out of shark fin hair pieces.
So what'd you guys think of the mag? Did you guys go see it in the big screen, the surround sound? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from the Dark Abyss down here in the Research Center. Hopefully old Meg doesn't come back and uh, chew us all up, huh? Until next time, cheese!